Well, hello and welcome to my channel, Make Life Simple with Sandy. My name is Sandy, and if you're new here, welcome. I would love to have you stay a while. Uh, but I am doing a collab with Moss Family TV. That is, her name is Fallon. Uh, sweet, sweet family in Georgia. I've been watching her videos. I've just fell in love with the whole family. She has four children. She has, uh, she is due with her fifth one literally any minute. Uh, but she is doing a collab for the month of October every Friday. And uh, it is what she's, what she's going to do. You can put in a, any, any kind of recipe. It can be a dessert, a drink, or whatever. But something that is a fall favorite with your family. And put it in the, put the video up. And then she's going to create like a playlist with all of those videos in there. And I'm so excited about that, y'all. I'm so excited about trying to find some new recipes. Because I have been digging through every YouTube channel that you can imagine trying to find something new because we kind of get in a food rut where we're eating and we're empty nesters now, me and my husband. Uh, we own a real estate office and uh, both of my kids are grown. I have a daughter and a son and my son just married a couple of years ago. My daughter is married with two beautiful girls, my grand angels, I call them. And, uh, but we're empty nesters. So I'm all the time looking for something that I can fix and that will freeze well because we may not eat it all so i stick it in the freezer so but anyhow but i want to thank you for being here and i my first recipe is going to be some taco soup and we're fixing to start that right now well welcome back y'all we are fixing to can you see everything okay we're fixing to attempt this taco soup now i did realize i thought for sure that i put um tomatoes, a can, some canned tomatoes on my Walmart list. I must not have, so I am going to use a can of the Rotel, okay, just in its place. Uh, we have some downstairs, but I think it's canned, but I think we've got quarts, and I'm afraid that's going to be too much, so we're just going to go with this and try it, because like I said, one thing about this soup, you can pretty much make it your own. I mean, the recipe that I had did not call for uh, refried beans. We love refried beans, and I also want to make sure it's a little thicker. Uh, so I'm going with that. I'm thinking if nothing else, that will definitely. And like I said, you can do this however. I've got a can of black beans, some whole kernel corn, some refried beans, some, some pintos. I have drained some of the water off of it. I didn't put them through a strainer, but I did drain. Uh, and the recipe that I had called for taco seasoning and ranch. So I'm gonna put the ranch in it. We're gonna see how that, that goes. And then I got a little can of uh, diced green chilies, the Great Value diced green chilies, and uh, the tomatoes, so. But we're gonna see how this goes, y'all. I'm anxious to try this. And this is probably one of our first cool days that we have had. I think, let me, is it 70? It's saying 77. So, but, and it's been, just so you know, yesterday it was up at like 96. So this is, this is cool. Oh, and if you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll know that I freeze, I, I do my ground beef up, up in bulk and I drain it and then I put it in freezer bags. I don't really measure it for the weight, I kind of just eyeball it to see, you know, it, it's probably a pound or two, give or take. You could put more. And if you want to, when you do this up, and I did it for a while, you could add onions to it when you're browning it. Uh, you could add taco seasoning to it when you're browning. It just depends on whatever you're gonna use it for. So, but I've just kind of left everything out of mine because I, when I grab a bag, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do sloppy joes, shepherd's pie, or what have you. And if you got a bigger family, of course, you're probably going to need to put it in a bigger bag. So, but anyhow, let's get cooking, y'all. Let me find me a little spatula here. So, and, uh, and like I said, now I have got some uh, beef broth in there. I may use, I'm not sure. I just want to see how thick this is going to be because I have never made this before. And uh, I have had it. My office manager made it and brought some to work, and it was so good. And uh, we really enjoyed it. So, but that's the can of black beans, semi-drained. Let's call it semi-drained. 
the corn semi-drained. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this eye on about medium, I think. Uh, the green chilies, not drained, okay? And y'all, these are just the great value brand. Our Walmart just recently got a grocery pickup. I love it, especially because I have neuropathy in my legs and some pinto beans. And like I said, I, the recipe, I, I looked at the recipe, the one that my office manager gave me, I looked at it and I tried to find it online so I could kind of put a link to it and I could not find it online, not the exact one. And so when I started looking, all these, you know, you if you just like black beans, you could just use black beans. So, and then we're gonna dump in the rotel because I don't have tomatoes. And then we are going to use the refried beans because we love them. And like I said, I'm hoping this will thicken it up some because I want kind of a thick soup. Um, let's, well, I guess what you can call it a stew. <laughs> It'll be a stew, not a soup. And I, it looks like I'm gonna have to add some liquid, y'all. So. It looks like I'm gonna have to maybe add some of that broth or, and I've got a can of tomato sauce in there. I forgot about that. I may just put a can of tomato sauce, so. But, of course the taco seasoning. One pack of that. And then one up, they said one envelope of this, which I think that's two tablespoons. And y'all, if you use this stuff, it kind of gets uh, all kind of stuck together in your, in your bottle, so you kind of have to shake it up a little bit. And, uh, so I'm just gonna take the lid off. And, uh, Use two tablespoons. So, all right, we'll see how this is gonna be. I am anxious to try this, especially because we've got some cool weather. I have, uh, I thought about making some cornbread with it, but I think I have got some tostada shells up here that need to be eat. bag here. So I think I may do them. We may kind of break them up. I've got green onions and I have sour cream and I have salsa that we can kind of put on top of this. So but we're going to stir this up real good and then and y'all the way I use my ground beef I open the pack and I just dump it in you know, to something like this that you're doing because it's just gonna thaw out as it cooks. So you really don't even have to thaw it. Now, if I was making like sloppy joes or something, I would probably let it thaw, but you know, Ben's I'm just gonna let this simmer a while. And I started to do this in my crock pot, but I thought, no, I'm gonna go ahead and just put it on the stove and, and uh, but I guess you could put it in the crock pot and let it simmer all day. You know, like put it on the low. So, but anyhow, but that's it, y'all. I am not gonna add any broth to it yet because I want it to cook a little bit and just see how soupy it does get because it will probably thin out as it cooks, so. But, uh, but y'all, I will bring you back and show you what it looks like and let you know how we liked it. Okay, everybody, it has been simmering for probably about, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes, I guess. And it was very thick, those, uh, those refried beans done what I wanted it to do a little too well. So what I did, I just uh, added about three-fourths cup of water. That's what the taco seasoning packet called for. So I just put enough uh, water in there like you would do with the taco seasoning pack. And, uh, but... Y'all, it is smelling so, so, so good. So, but I'm fixing to dish some up here in a little bit and, and give it a try, so.
but uh, it's it's smelling really good. And if you wanted it thinner, you would you could just you know leave some of the juice in in the beans, and that would probably allow. If I had not poured some of the juice off of the beans, it would have I probably may not would have had to add any water. So, but uh, I'm gonna give it a try. All right, y'all. I am going to top this with uh, some salsa, some sour cream, and I have this uh, salsa verde. Taco Bell cheese, and some green onions. Okay, here you go, y'all. I have put the cheese and some green onions and sour cream and some salsa. And then I got these uh, tortilla chips that we need to eat up, and I thought this will work out just fine. Now for the taste All right, y'all, the taste test. Uh, green onions and salsa, sour cream. You could top it with anything. I found some salsa verde Taco Bell shredded cheese. And uh, I thought, well, that'll go good. Y'all, this is good. A definite, definite winner. I cannot wait to see how this freezes because like I said, we freeze everything. Just, and you know, you're not gonna eat it, I'm not gonna throw it out. I just stick it in the freezer. So, but it's good. Mm-hmm. Definitely a family favorite. So, and you could do cornbread with it. You could do uh, chips with it. Like I said, I had these little tostadas Mm-hmm, y'all, very good, very good. All right, I'm gonna have the recipe listed below. Um, and, and you can literally make this your own. If you don't like black beans, you could use something else. If you didn't want corn, you could do, you could do it however you wanted to, but it's good. And especially for a good fall day, it's perfect, so. But thank you so much for watching, and if this is one of the first videos you've seen of mine, I am so glad you're here, and we're going to try to do this. I think Fallon's wanting to do this every Friday in the month of October, okay? So uh, I'll be coming back. Like I said, I've, I've got some ideas. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. I know I'm going to do my vegetable uh, V8 soup. I know I'm going to do that one because that's uh, definitely been a family favorite for years, but uh, but yeah, this is a family favorite now, no doubt. <laughs> so, but thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day and God bless.